My uncle was a crackhead and we didn't even know it at first. We just thought he was a fun dude. We did, man. We used to be in the basement. How, how, you know how kids do. You know, be in the basement just jumping on <laughs> Listening for sounds. Ooh, is that mom? Nah, keep going, dog. He be right there with us. Ah, 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 ah. He had been up for six days. It was amazing. He was dope. Always had candy, the type you could eat, and the type in the bag. Don't touch that. I don't know what that is. He was so dope, man. And then one day he stole all our TVs. And and my mama was like, yo, crackhead ass uncle. And then me and my brother looked at each other. We was like, oh, that makes so much sense, though. No one should be up that long, fam. At one point, when I, uh, I didn't go to school one day and I got in trouble because I have two parents who care. And, and they were like, do you want to be out in the street? And then my uncle busted in, like, the streets is amazing. Be free. I'm like, what? What does be free mean? I grew up in Chicago, Chicagoland area. Yeah, I see y'all. All right, this is the taping, shut up. Can't bring Chicago nowhere. The kids are mean, man, they used to pick on me. I remember uh, this dude I didn't get along with, John, he came up, he was like, hey, Chris, forget you, you're stupid, and you got a crackhead uncle. All he does is dig in the trash and do crack. <laughs> And I was like, so? You know how hard that is? When someone says something that's hurtful and true? Then I had to fight him. I lost that fight because he hit me in my nose. I sneezed immediately. And you can't win when, you, when someone beats you in the allergies. A chew. Are we done? In Chicago, we got the greatest crack kids in the world. We do, finesse. You know what I mean? I, I, I learned about them from my uncle, but they're all over Chicago. I knew this one guy. Uh, most impressive dude, I mean, on crack. <laughs> He's impressive, man, finesse you, you know what I mean? Named Willie. I, I see him every day walking to work for six years. Uh, and my thing was, if he wasn't high, I would help him out, give him some money, go get him some food, whatever he need. But if he was high, can't get nothing. Just try to help him not be high so much, right? I knew one day he was high though, for sure, because it was 20 degrees and he was shirtless and he was sweating profusely and that is not how bodies work. <laughs> and he was carrying a TV. Like, how you don't have a shirt? But you got a TV, really? That's not your TV, dog. So I had to ask him, say, Willie, where you get that TV from, man? He looked me dead in my eyes like, business is business, and walked off. <laughs> and that is not an answer to any question. That's not even an answer to the question, what is business? But he said it with so much confidence, I was like, you right, he gonna be somebody. He is gonna be. I'm Chris Red, thank y'all so much.